Hello everybody, Fixer here, and today I have for you a game called Rakuen, which I hope I am pronouncing correctly, and if I'm not, I'm sure somebody will correct me on that. So, this game came out on May 10th, and you can get it on Steam for $10, you can get it with the soundtrack for just under $16. So this was made by Lara Shigihara, which I also hope I am pronouncing correctly, and that name should ring a bell to you because she did the soundtrack for Plants vs. Zombies, if I remember correctly. And of course she contributed to the To The Moon soundtrack, which was a wonderful soundtrack. And this is her first game. I don't believe she made this by herself. I believe she, she had two other people um, working with her to put out this game. But anyway, like To The Moon, this game was made in RPG Maker. And RPG Maker kind of has a, a stigma attached to it, right? People kind of don't take these releases terribly seriously. But every now and it's it's a fantastic tool to learn how to, to make games when to get started, I suppose. Um, but every now and again a game comes out that people take seriously, and this is one of them. In fact, one of you recommended to me to play this game. I don't remember who it was, I, I apologize, or else I would mention you by name. So yes, like To The Moon, people have taken this game seriously. A lot of work put into the art, and to the music, to the story, and it looks quite compelling. Uh, but like other RPG Maker games, there are limitations. Um, it's not high res. You're going to notice that specifically in the text. It looks like, you know, an old Super Nintendo game, a JRPG type style of game, right? But yeah, you'll notice in the text, it'll be a little bit blurry. And, um, and I can't record it. You can't record RPG Maker games through their game engine. You have to do it via monitor or, or Windows. So there may be other sounds or something from my system that you might hear. I don't know, but just be aware of that. So this is a story driven game. And from what I understand, it is about six to eight hours long, um, depending on how much you explore, of course. And to give you an idea of what the story is about, I don't want to give too much away, but you should probably know that it's going to be a sad story. It's about a hospitalized boy that comes to terms with his own story. So, take that for what it's worth. Let's do this. I'm ready. Arrow keys, not the number pad. Up, down, left, and right. Space and enter is to interact with people and examine objects. Escape. Why can't it be the WASD? And I'm sure you can't change the controls. You usually can't in RPG Maker. I'm not even sure if it's capable of doing that. Q is to talk with mom when she's with you. Okay. I'm sure I'll remember all of that just fine. Someone be spying on us. Him. It's a boy. Who's there? He's gonna be visited by three ghosts. Well, there's the first one, Yami. Hey. Uh, how'd you get in here? Uh, your door's unlocked, man. Oh. Uh, who are you? I'm Yami. I live across the hall. Uh, did you just move in or something? No, I think I got here around the same time as you. But they never let me out of my room. Oh, I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I sneak out at night when the nurses aren't watching. <laughs> promise you won't tell anyone? I'm here, okay? I promise. I wonder if entering will speed up the text. So how long are you in here for? I don't, yeah, it does. Okay, so that works just like To the Moon. Or any RPG Maker game, I assume. I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. Same here. It gets really boring sometimes. I know what you mean. Someone's coming! Sorry, man, I gotta go. Hey, wait. Yeah? Maybe I could visit you sometime? It's not as boring when there's two. Uh, you won't be able to get into my room. I'm not even supposed to leave, remember? Oh, yeah. Don't worry, I'll come visit you again. I promise. 
He's not real. Yami? Where'd you go? He's not a very bright kid. He said he was leaving. Oh, can I literally get up and walk around? Oh, okay. So I, I got a backpack on. I'm like an adventurer. An IV bag filled with a saline solution. Okay. Get used to this walking around. The controls, I mean. All right. So you go tile by tile. Gotcha. Was through the moon like that? I don't think it was. A house plant that looks like it could use some water. Do I have water? Patient number 237. Um, Pemetrix disodium. 800 milligrams once blah blah blah. Carboplatin. I don't know what these things are. I'm sure it might give you a hint as to what he has. Treatment guide. An origami hat. A shout out to To The Moon perhaps. Open the cabinet? Sure. Cabinet is empty. Okay, well, never mind. Can I open this cabinet? I think it'll just open the phone. All right, well, um, I'm assuming this must be... Wait a minute. Is this the... Oh. Hello? Hello, dear, it's Mom. Mom! Just want to let you know what my train that my train was delayed, so I'm going to be a little late. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. It's okay, Mom. I understand. But I'm off, off work this week, and I dropped off your little brother at Grandma's, so we'll be able to spend lots of time together. We could play games. I'll read to you. It'll be like our own little party. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you, too. Lights! Thank... Well, well, I see you're wide awake and walking around. Uh, no one told me I couldn't walk around. Ha! <laughs> okay, wise guy, I've got a couple things to tell you. First of all, some good news. Your tests have come back, and it turns out things are looking pretty good. For now. In fact, I think I might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. You mean... I get to leave my room? Indeed. Yes! Uh, not so fast. There's something else I need to talk to you about. This morning, the cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. It was yummy. Since the wing was all locked up last night, we believe the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So, can you take a moment to just check and see if any of your belongings are stolen? Okay. Um, let's go back here. Door is locked. There's a sign on the door. Yes. Storage area 5B. Patients not allowed beyond this point. Why is there a storage area in my room? I don't approve of this. What am I what am I looking for here? Can I will you let me go? <laughs> no. Uh yeah. Who am I calling? Hello, can I help you? <laughs> can you send the nurse? Is the cafeteria open? It is. They should be serving breakfast now. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You mean she's not there already? Well, she should be there soon to take her vitals. You know the drill, hun. i I'm doing it. I'm sorry. I'm full of mischief. No worries. Try to get some rest. Alright, so that didn't do anything. Alright, well... I think I got everything I need. Um... What is this? Oh no! It's gone! Oh, so I am missing something. I was wondering what that light was. Doctor, they took it! They took Rakuen! What did they take? Rakuen, it's my favorite book in the whole world! My mom reads it to me every night. Was there actually a book there before and I just didn't notice it? It's very possible. It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't just misplace it? I'm sure! 
After Mom finishes reading, she always puts it back in the same place. It's our tradition. Alright, calm down. What did your book look like? Um, it has a brown cover. Looks very old. And there's a clasp made of uh, silver with a hole for a key. Silver clasp, eh? I guess that explains why they take a children's storybook. Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been for it to you. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. I'm just going to be so sad. Aww. You know what? What? Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you just go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? Who knows? Maybe someone will be able to help you get your book back. Are you suggesting that one of the other patients is a thief? Take care now. I'll be back to check on you in a bit. She's suggesting that, isn't she? The pooper. Okay. A mirror. Indeed. Fill the sink with water? Absolutely. And we will leave it there, I suppose. <laughs> Anarchy! Can I look in these things? Open the locker! A lab coat and a pair of scrubs. Looks like there's something beneath the lab coat. Look! You found five gold! Holy shit! Is there- wait, was there an inventory button? I forgot. Tab... Q? There's no one to talk to here. Oh. Item. Oh. Journal. Find out who stole your book. Lovely. Gotcha. How about this one? Open the locker. You find a pair of scrubs hanging inside. And that's it. Hospital scale. Um, how's your detective work coming along? Find any good leads? I guess I just will ignore that. An eye chart. On the lower left corner of the eye chart, you can make out some writing. Yes, read it. Oh, it said M-A-I-I. -I. Is that what it said? Hold on. I, I skipped past it. Ma-I-I. -I. Okay. That may mean something. I don't know. Hospital admittance form number two. RG had a pretty tough day today. You hang in there, all right? You're doing great. Well, tell me how I'm doing. Holy cow, that kid's got a mohawk. Cabinet is empty. Folders filled with medical forms. Looks like there's something beneath the folders. You found five gold. Wonderful. I am rich. All right, how's it going there, Chief? Cora! Hey there, what's up? Did you hear about the thief? Tell me about the folks here. Let's do this. Dude, yeah! Chef Pinky came out here earlier and he was not happy. I guess the thief took a lot of food from the cafeteria kitchen. How the heck did they get into the kitchen? Can't even get there from the cafeteria. Believe me, I've tried. Um, what's up? Hey, I don't think we've formally met. I'm Cora. I'm probably pretty easy to remember me because it's probably pretty easy to remember me because I'm the only girl in my grade with a pink mohawk. Whoa, cool. And don't worry, my mom knows. She's the one who let me do it. Anyways, it was nice meeting ya. Nice meeting you too, Cora. Oh, hey, some friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here in the hospital. Like what? I have more details later, but if you find anything cool you'd want to donate, come talk to me. Okay. I know a lot of folks feel powerless when they have to stay here. But here's the way I see it. No one knows how much time they have in this world. My time could be up in 80 years. Or 8 minutes. <laughs> It'll terrify the poor kid. Point is, I'm going to do everything I can to make good use of my time. Time's precious, you know. If I could help just one person here to feel happier, then I'd be all worth it. <laughs> Tell me about the folks. Well, who do you want to know about? Whoa, I, I, I guess... 
I don't know why I'm asking about Tony if I don't know who Tony is yet. Am I... Am I getting ahead of myself? Was I supposed to stop at the rooms before I got here? Um... Tony. Just between you and me, I think Tony's hiding something. He acts so grumpy all the time, but he's got this pretty little music box in his room that he guards with his life. Why would a grumpy old dude like that have a sweet little music box? It's probably like a To The Moon music box, right? Um, Sue. She's a sweetheart. But she's obsessed. Obsessed? Yeah, I guess she had to move to the hospital before saying goodbye to her friend. And that's pretty much all she talks about now. Jackie. Jackie's that guy over there with a blood draw st at the blood draw station. He's cool. A little weird. But cool. If you ever need to know about anything technical, he's the guy to ask. Alright, girl. I'm off. A pink cat. Is this Jackie, I assume? Can I can I go in here and jack his stuff up? No? Jackie! Hello, small child! What brings you to my blood draw station? He's got a bear in his hair. Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Platelets? Perpetual motion machines? Ahem. <clears throat> What can I help you with? What's up? Sometimes I like to contemplate things like, why are there only two egg-laying mammals in the world? I'm sure many species could benefit from laying eggs. But so far, only the platypus and, and echidna families have hopped on that bandwagon. Another shout out to To The Moon, no doubt. Why, if I could lay eggs, I would be laying eggs all the time. Jackie, come on, get yourself together, chief. You're, you're, you're a doctor. Well, a nurse at least. Did you hear about the thief? Come here, I'll let you in on a little secret. I don't know. Have you noticed anything strange about this hospital? Uh... Not really? A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place, like M-A-I-I. -I. And last night, I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room. Well, if you know about the thief, why didn't you report this guy, man? I was told that closet had been locked since before I started working here. Pretty sure they were not staff. What did they look like? I only saw them out of the corner of my eye and for but a second, so unfortunately I couldn't say. Who would you like to know about? Pinky. The children love Chef Pinky. If he notices someone is having a bad day, he'll give them ice cream. Ah, ice cream. Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius. Um, Kissaburo. I knew Kissaburo back before his mind started going. We spoke often. It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. What do you mean? Well, for example... Recently, the staff found him outside digging in the mud again. He was on his hands and knees, making piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. Oh man. But hey, maybe you know something we don't. Maybe he was looking for... Buried treasure. Okay, tell me about Danielle. Danielle is the purple-haired girl who hangs out in the cafeteria. She sews the most marvelous plushies for the patients here. Who would you like to know about? Is she going to make me a platypus pl plushie? I'm guessing. Holy cow, so many people. Nurse, did you call me? That she wasn't shouting nurse, that was the nurse. Yeah? Apparently the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Can you do anything about it? I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I don't even know how to fix a toilet. Well, someone has to do it. You know we're short-staffed. Fine, I'll go see if I can dig up some supplies. Is that a hint for me? I, I just knocked on the door. Hey, what are you doing? I, um... This is a girl's room, you know. But if you really gotta use the bathroom, come talk to me. 
toilet in there is broken. Some metal thing is stuck inside. If you have to go, you should probably find a different bathroom. Sue. So, so you want to use our bathroom, eh? Well, I guess. Yeah, I get it. We all got to go sometimes. But I can't let just anyone use our bathroom. It's a girl's room, you know? Gosh, it, it looks like you really got to go, though. <laughs> Am I doing the pee-pee dance? Hmm. Well, how about this? See that jar next to me? Uh, yeah? That's my marble collection. I'm missing some, though. I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket, and I'm pretty sure some fell out. If you can find me just one, I'd let you use our bathroom whenever you want. Do you think you could do that for me? I'll try my best. Thank you. Last place I was playing uh, uh, was with Danielle in the cafeteria, so might you want to check around there. Steal it! Wow, so many different marbles. Yeah, I've been collecting for a long time. Are they not watering any of these? I'm gonna look at her. <laughs> this is a HIPAA violation, you guys. Patient 138. Anoxic brain injury. Stage 1 coma. What? Is that the other one then? Respiratory therapy session 1121. A thermometer. Patient 138, blood samples. So, is this girl in the coma? Winston. How are you doing today? What's up? Uh, my wife's been asleep for months now. But I still... So, it's, I don't think it's entirely normal for a kid to be in the same room with an adult like this. But whatever, we'll set that aside. But I still talk with her every day and sometimes I read to her. How are you doing? Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? I've been told that those areas have long been closed off, even to the staff. But recently, I noticed that one of the devices had been turned on. Um, Sue. On occasion, I have had to take Sue back to her room. She has a habit of walking around aimlessly on certain nights. I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long while. Makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. I heard that Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost morale around the hospital. Last I heard, they were calling themselves the Tall Cape Heroes. Okay, good to know, good to know. Pardon me, lady. I got important work to do here. Um, you, shift worker, talk to me. Quit bugging me, kid. I've got a lot of... Oh, God. And my stomach's growling. What I wouldn't give for a peanut choo-choo. Okay, I guess I need one of those, too. All right, before I go into another room, I'm going to walk around here. Hi. Now, where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. Holy cow, this place is full of absent-minded people. Door is rusted shut. Okay. Find a pair of scrubs. Oops, I didn't mean to do it a second time. A semi-functional vending machine. I would like... Oh, peanut choo-choos! You received a peanut choo-choo. Oh my god. I'll be able to give it to the... Will they let me go outside? Hold on. Oh! Oh, that's not outside, outside. Okay. Well, I don't want to go too far yet. I want to... Actually, she's this way. This is the shift worker. I'm going to give this to the shift worker. Hello, lady! What do you want to do? Offer a peanut choo-choo. Wait, you're giving this to me? You're an adult, lady. I'm sure you could have afforded it yourself, but I'll be the adult in this uh, position here, girl. Oh, thank you. I hadn't eaten anything all day. Guess they won't mind if I go take a short break. What? Hospital admittance forms A through F. All right. Upper shelf. An assortment of books and pamphlets, li pamphlets line the shelves. Newspaper clipping is sticking out from between two of the books. 19th of March. 
I am already strapped for resources. Hospitals are unable to accommodate new patients. Okay. Uh, medical journals. Lovely. Lower cabinet filled with medical forms. Laminated card is clipped to the back of one of the folders. Yes. Oh! Oh! Holy shit! I gotta write shit down? Maybe? Got my trusty pad and pen. So what do we got here? Trusty code 1721. Closet 5C. I'm gonna write that down too. Um, never mind. Alright, cool. Now that I've snooped around too many places. I guess it's time. Actually, I could probably end the episode here. So I've got this door, I got that door, and I got a couple over there as well. We can continue next episode. So there you guys go. That's Rakuin. You can get it on Steam for 10 bucks. Soundtrack also on Steam for 10 bucks. But you can get them both together in a package for $15. And before I go, don't forget that if you follow me over on Twitter at FixerTV, that's with three X's, I do give away games every single Friday. So be sure to go and check me out over there. Give me a follow. That way when um, I do post, you'll be uh, able to jump on one of them free games. And I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next series. Bye-bye.